in probably around 2007, 2008, a group of students began to really think about, can we do something in the homeless district? And of course, at the time, it's kind of like, well, what are you guys planning? What are you gonna do? They wanted to open up a full clinic. And of course, there weren't the resources available. So by 2009, a group of students came together and said, we want to go down and do health checks in the homeless district. So we organized that year two that we had at that time. And then we started doing once a month, and then we started doing twice a month. The EMTs would come and participate with us. We had dentists that would come and participate with us. We've had public health come and do syphilis screens. HIV screenings. So we've had a lot of different opportunity. And what the community found was that, especially the homeless district folk, is that the service we provide was so valuable in just making sure the health of the patients of the homeless got addressed in some way. And about five years ago, they built this facility, which is wonderful for the homeless district. Uh, the homeless have the opportunity to come to really learn how to work with social workers, to get registered, they can get their light driver's license that they may have lost, they can find their birth certificates that they don't have those. Because many of the homeless people only have what they have with them. So this place really helps them get started back on the right track. And in addition to that, on the other side of the True Worth Clinic is a JPS clinic. So it's a healthcare clinic. And we're able to refer the people that we see that need to have more care to that clinic. One of the key things that I think happens here at the homeless clinic is that the students have the opportunity to really practice a lot of things that they're learning in the book. And that practice is probably the biggest piece of integrating the knowledge that they have. And it's always just amazing to me to see them that they're in a cardiology section right now, that they focus on the heart, that they really begin to listen to the heart. They may be in pulmonology, they listen to the lungs more. They may be looking in the eyes more. They may be looking at the ears more. So it gives the students in that time frame the ability to really take what they're learning in the book and to do it on a patient and not a test patient, but a real live human being. Um, my volunteering home clinic has helped me become a better student on my rotation because I get exposure to patients. I get to learn how to talk to them and it doesn't feel as structured when I'm going through my MASH FM or I'm going to code airs. It doesn't feel as structured. It feels more natural when you get that um, opportunity to just to interact with patients and to learn how to serve certain populations better. You know, there, at home clinic we get populations that may not be in the best part of their lives and being able to connect them with the different resources. So, I like that. Y'all helping us get clean and uh, stand, um, focus on uh, a new life. So it gives them the opportunity to ask all kinds of questions, explore the individual on multiple levels from their, their social determinants of health, to their health care, to their past history, to their substance abuse history. And seeing the students do that, I can see the learning just almost occur immediately.